All right, everybody, welcome to the first Zoom of the 2023 WNBA season as the Aces try to become the first team to repeat. In over 20 years, we have Kayla George on screen right, your left, and Asia Wilson. Uh, we will go ahead and open things up to questions immediately. Let's start with you, Owen. And if you would, please introduce yourselves because it's been a while since Kayla was in the league so she can get to know you guys again. Hi there, Owen Pence with Windsider. This is for Asia. Uh, how was your first off season as a WNBA champion? And what are some of the fun things you've done since the finals? Oh man, this has been a great off season. I mean, all of my off seasons have been pretty good. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I've just been working, uh, chilling, honestly, just been kicking it with my family. I think that's just the most fun because those are the times that I cherish the most. Uh, so spending time with my parents back in South Carolina and, uh, just training has really just been my life. Uh, so it's been exciting. I'm actually very happy to not come to our HQ and to have a place that we can call our own. And for Kayla, what's it like walking into this championship environment and, and being around all these great players and now in this new facility that's obviously so impressive? Yeah, it's incredible. It's super impressive and it's such an elite facility and it's where women's basketball should be. So I'm um, happy to be here. Thank you. John? Hi, uh, this question, Sean Schultz, WNBA Switch. The question's for uh, Asia. Uh, first thing, how does it feel being at this uh, new facility? Uh, is that helping your training? What's your favorite part? And is Sydney Coulson really that funny or is that something that they kind of just pretend? Oh man, uh, yes, Sydney Colson is really that funny. Uh, she's someone that you need in the locker room everywhere. I wish everyone had a Sydney Colson. Uh, she lights lightens up the the room a lot, and that's what you need. She's a glue player for sure. And I mean, going off of what Kayla said, like I think this is being in a practice facility is something that needs to be done across the board. I think we are laying the foundation down uh, for a lot of teams to kind of step their game up and say, "Hey, we deserve this. We've earned this," and it, it's. It's a given. It should be a given at this point. And that's what I love about the Aces franchise is they treat us like professional athletes. And whatever we need, it's here. Like anything you could think of, if it's not here, they'll get it. So I think my favorite probably has to be the massage chairs in the film room. <laughs> I think that is uh, goaded for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's, it's so far, it's been a lot of fun. M.A., go ahead. Thank you. Uh, M.A. Vopal from ESPN.com. Asia, wanted to ask you about sort of the mentality of defending champions. Everyone sort of comes in with a little different idea on what that means. Uh, obviously, you have such a core group, but then you're adding players in, one of them obviously being Candace Parker, one of the all-time greats. Can you just give us a sense of what your thoughts are about being defending champions and, and how you approach a season from that viewpoint? Yeah, I mean, for me, I felt like as long as I've been in the league, I don't think people ever liked the Aces and we didn't have a championship banner. So now that we have one, I can only imagine how much people really don't like us. Uh, but I, I take it all in stride, honestly. And I think it was Coach Kerr that said, not necessarily defending it or going back to back, but winning another one. That's my biggest thing is like just winning another one. I want to go get another ring. I'm approaching this just like I approached last season, nothing different. Um, and I think that's the, the the joyful side of it is I still get to do what I love uh, in a place that is like really caring for us. So uh, yeah, my approach and I think our, our whole approach is we're just trying to get another one. Like it's no... I think we put too much weight on our shoulder and too much pressure if we go in and be like, oh, my God, this is what we have to deal with. I think it's more so just we're still ring chasing again, and that's what we want to do. Thank you. Jackie? Hello. Hello. Good afternoon or morning for you all. I'm on the East Coast, but anyway. Um, I I actually have a couple of questions for Kayla. Um, I, I'm really curious if if you could... Take us through what this journey to get back to the WNBA has been like uh, since free agency. You know, if you could take us through when you got that call from the Aces that they were interested and also what made you interested to come back? It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. Um, honestly, I have become a mom in this past year and it's been an incredible journey. And probably the last like maybe 16 months for me have been probably highlight of my career with things I've been able to achieve and how I feel in myself, my body and what I've been able to do at my age. Um, and so mentally and physically, I'm probably 
the best I've ever been in my career. And I think um, the opportunity to come back here was just uh, too good to say no to. So, um, and, you know, we've got the likes of this girl right here and Candice <laughs> and the facility. And I mean, I'd be a fool to say no to this and, and experience this. So, um, yeah, I guess the journey, I've always just kind of just gone gone hard with whatever I've done and the opportunities I've had in whatever league around the world. And um, yeah, I've been out of this league for a little while, but um, I don't feel like I've you know, I'm, I'm out of touch out there. I feel like I fit in and I'm not an imposter at all. I feel like I belong. So happy to be back here and, and give it my all. Oh, absolutely. I didn't mean to, to touch oh, no, on no, I wasn't saying um, that you were all good. Um, but since it's been a while, I'm just curious how you think this league has changed since you were last in it. I mean, I feel like a lot has changed, but what for you do you think has changed the most? Uh, from the league, you mean? Yep. Um, Well, I guess the league's always probably the toughest in the world to compete in. Um, So, you know, the uniforms have changed from Adidas to Nike. (laughs) Um, It's always been a super tough league, though. And, you know, the game, you know, changes and evolves all the time. So if you don't keep up with it, you kind of lose it. So um, just, yeah, happy to be here and and get involved with the game at the pace that it's played. And the the IQ is quite high. And we've got really great, talented, high IQ players in this team here at Aces. So it's really great to be a part of a team where you can play at a high level um, all season long. And Asia, for you, just a quick one. Um, Training camps are bigger this season in part because prioritization and you've got players are ready to go on day one uh, this season. And so I'm, I'm curious, just with having everyone ready to go on day one, how does that help you guys? Because in the W historically, it really hasn't been like that. Yeah, I think it's super helpful when you can get in your your kind of not in midseason form, but your mindset is kind of there because we we're familiar with each other. We have chemistry and I think we have added pieces that have high IQ. So they pick up things very, very quickly. And that's the whole point of being a pro. Uh, I think when it comes when speaking of Kayla, I couldn't stand playing against her in Worlds <laughs> and also in Dallas. So when we picked her up, I was like, yes, like this is what we need, another piece to our puzzle. And when you have an addition like that and Candace and Alicia Clark, like everyone like that I think it's a lot easier when we're bringing in and we have a full team here for a training camp uh because we're all like-minded we coming in with the same mindset of like we want to ring we're not here to waste anyone's time we're here to get the job done so I think our additions and having our already established chemistry I think is a good mesh for us to do out to come out here in day one and take care of business thank you thank you Mr. Duncan Hello, hello. Um, I have a question for each one of you, if that's okay. Um, for Kayla, something that's popped for me going through your film is just how quickly you process the floor and your ability to pass the ball. Um, just where is that kind of influence came from? Were there any like bigger posts as you were growing up that you kind of studied or where does that kind of instinct come from? Yeah, so being an Aussie, we look at Lauren Jackson first and foremost. And um, so I've just you know, idolized her my whole teenage years and wanted to be like her. And um, so that's kind of where I've molded my game from. I used to always like to watch Dirk Nowitzki as well and Kevin Durant as well in the NBA. Um, But yeah, I I really enjoy facilitating and I think I get more hyped off a good assist than hitting a trizzy. So like, I I love finding my teammates. I love getting everyone involved. And if it can be a a bit of a special pass behind the, but no, I can't do behind the, I'm not jealousy, (laughs) but if I can make it like a bit of a groovy pass and even better, it gets me pretty hyped. So yeah, I love that I can and can bring that as a post player. I think that's really special for any post player that can do it, like Asia and Candace as well. Got you. And Asia, with the Aces adding Kayla, adding Candace Parker, I would guess there's going to be more of an emphasis with just high post play and initiating above the break. Um, how do you feel your game kind of slots into that if the offense shifts a little bit? And are there any adjustments you feel like you may need to make if you're more off the ball? Uh, I mean, I'm always open to adapt and adjust when it comes to just whatever, doing the bet- what's best for the team and getting us a win. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to have any situations where it's going to be hard for Asia to get a shot because at the end of the day, they drafted me to do that. So I feel like uh, Becky has surrounded me and also all of my teammates with the right pieces to make sure that we're all playing at our highest and at our, and at our best. So uh, I don't think it's going to be anything too different. I think we just added high IQ. Uh, IQ. We've added just a lot of different pieces that could still make us mesh. So I don't know. I'm still talking. I haven't played one game. Uh, you could check back with me in June and I'll be like, what the hell? Uh, so so you never know. But I think right now we're on the road to uh, just good pace. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go two more. Donetta. 
Good afternoon, ladies. My question is to Asia. You talked about several times how you dread going against Candace Parker, and now she's actually your teammate. Uh, what is most excites you about her being able to help elevate your game? Uh, I mean, that's one less person I have to think about guarding. <laughs> uh, that's more mental space for me to kind of do my thing. Uh, but I'm just excited just to just pick brains, just pick IQs, just rock and roll. I think Becky does a great job of just giving us the blueprint and then letting us be hoopers. Like at the end of the day, she's like, we have great players to execute whatever that needs to be done. So I'm just excited just to get everybody involved and just see how people play us and go from there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's close it out with Rafiq. This is Rafiq with Nothing But Death Sports Talk. Nice, nice to speak to you today, ladies. Thank you. Same to you. Yeah, um, Candace Parker is not only teaming up with you, but now she's reunited with Chelsea Gray, and you know the championship history with, with those players. is like, how, how does that feel to have the, the, the Candace Parker, Chelsea Gray team it, it's being on your side as opposed to playing against you throughout your WBA career? I mean, when it was Chelsea, Candace, and Bay, we beat them in the bubble. So you should be asking them what it's like to play with us. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. Um, but no, it's it's super dope just to kind of see them reunited uh, within the right colors in the right city <laughs> with us. And uh, it's going to be, I mean, it just goes off of what I said about chemistry. Like, I feel like that's a set of chemistry that you we don't have to teach. Uh, so it's kind of easier us on the five to keep meshing and joining with that chemistry. So but that's what it's all going to come down to. When we click, I think it's going to be something special. Yes, I good luck. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. We will let you go. A reminder that we will post this uh, on our shared drive. I will send out an email with the links to it. And we will see you guys on Friday for our next series of Zooms. Thanks a lot, everybody.